I got a Yahoo here, and I want to read it before we before we go to the money zone and move on to a very special segment because it features something so pure and so wonderful. It's uh, it's another Seth Carlson jam. Thank you, Seth. It's Yahoo Answers user. Sorry, something's gone wrong. I'm gonna call him Broderick. Asks in CIS themed birthday party. Mm. I, I want to throw a really nice in CIS themed birthday party, but aren't sure how to do it. I don't know what to do for a cake, decorations, games, anything like that. Thanks. Okay, In before CIS. we get into like the the details of this, how much have we watched? Well, here's the thing: I love somebody saying, "I want to throw specific theme birthday party here." I have no but ideas. I have no ideas for it whatsoever. So, like, do you then? Do you want to throw that party, or I do you just like NCIS? I very much like NCIS, and I very much like aging, and I want to combine those two activities. <sighs> I think the only thing I know about NCIS, I know two things. One, the Secret Service agent from West Wing is in it. Correct. Mark Harmon. And there's some... Incredible hero. Incredible... He sorry. Incredible hero Mark Harmon that once saved a boy from a burning car. Mark Harmon. Wait, that really? Mark Harmon. Fuck yeah, dude. Mark Harmon saved a boy from a burning car? Yeah, Mark Harmon is a fucking hero. He pulled two kids out of a burning car. Well, now it's two kids? Hold on. This started as one kid. He pulled six kids out of a burning bus. <laughs> he ate a burning limousine. <laughs> to save no, 12 here, kids. We've talked about this before, I believe, so I'm going to go through this quickly. But uh, Mark Harmon was it, kicking it in LA, 1996, 715. These teens missed a turn, crashed into a tree, flipped over, and burst into flames. Mark Harmon smashed the windows out with a sledgehammer and pulled the boys to safety. He just, had, he was just holding rules. the sledgehammer sitting on his porch as he's wont to do. Fuck yeah, Mark Harmon, hero. Uh, yeah, right. Mark Harmon rules. Anyway, Mark Harmon also, as long as we're talking about Mark Harmon, I did a quick Google for NCIS party to see kind of what was out there. There's a lot. Oh, <laughs> it good. won't surprise you. Um, a lot of fu fun cakes, etc. His character on the show NCIS is named Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Do you think that it was penance for having such a cool name like Mark, Mark Harmon? Harmon? Yeah. That they had to like so, I mean, knock him down a few pegs? I feel like one thing you could do for your party is set your house ablaze in Brentwood and then Mark will show up, be like, I'm here to save you. And then you quickly douse the flame. And you're like, Mark, 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 long as you're here. Ah, uh, lordy, lordy, look who's 40. It's me, Mark. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, Mark. The second thing I know about NCIS is that there is a goth woman or a punk woman who seems very prevalent in the show. I, have I believe her name her. is Abby on the show. And How she's, do you know she's that? on all the NCISs. Because I have, I've been reading this Yahoo, Travis. Um, I want to just the there's reason, someone named Donald Ducky Mallard. There's a lot of fun. Listen, they have fun with the creators. names. Yeah, but Ducky is his like nickname, and Mallard is his last name. Like you could have gotten to Ducky just from Donald or Ducky just from Mallard, but you went ahead and named Donald the most famous duck and also Mallard. Yeah, I mean, so there's a character on the chief of the NCIS is named Bill Butthole Rectum. They just really <laughs> went wild with the names. So NCIS stands for Naval Criminal Investigative Services, right? So they Obviously. investigate crimes that have to do with the Navy and the Marines. That show has been going on for 15 seasons. Hey, Navy, are you okay? Because it seems like you maybe have a lot of crime. <laughs> It seems like there's a lot of crime going on with y'all. I mean, I learned that. You and Jag. I learned that on Jag. Yeah, Jag has just really opened my eyes to... Holy shit. Jag and NCIS are in the same universe. Yes. Two episodes in season eight it's of called Jag. The, uh, Travis, it's called the Viewisk universe. Yes. Please. Ice Queen and Meltdown, two episodes from season eight of Jag, were back to our pilots for NCIS that featured Mark Harmon as Gibbs on those Jag episodes. Yeah, it's called a spinoff. It's called a spinoff. But from Jag, NCIS is a spinoff of Jag. It's, no it's, it's called a Jag off. <laughs> I wanted to read this question because there's a Yahoo Answers user named Lady Die who says, 
Be sure that you either have an actual mystery to solve as the evening progresses, or that you simply use the theme as a backdrop. There really isn't any right way or wrong way to do a birthday party, but if you want to throw the party that everyone will be talking about, you need to create a specific crime uh, for the scene you're investigating and leave cru clues everywhere to help with the investigation. Decorating your crime scene party crime scene tape and chalk outlines on the floor are easy additions to your theme. Make sure to leave them uh, realistic in size by having a person actually lay down for you to draw the outline. You might leave fake footprints, fingerprints, and clue cards throughout the room. Not too well hidden unless you want people snooping. You can even uh, get help when leaving the clues and decorating because of the novelty of this sort of party. You do not have to confine the festivities to one room, and you can, if you're feeling truly adventurous, have a different case going on in different rooms. Just have the guests draw numbers for teams and then race to solve the crime first. This is a fairly huge undertaking, but it will make the party remembered for years. You might also want to set up a lab complete with a microscope and tables dedicated to sorting out the evidence and making notes for the shocking conclusion of the crimes in question. Of course, you'll want to make the crime simple and solvable by leaving clues that guests will have no trouble finding or deciphering without making it too easy. Use your favorite episode for guidance if you must, and throw in a red herring or two to keep things fun. There are reruns that you should have no problem finding a show that will give you some great ideas. For food, you can have an actual NCIS cake or go with cookies that are shaped like footprints or thumbprint cookies for an uh, excellent play on words. Sloppy Joes, pizza, finger foods, chips and dips, and cookies and cake will have an excellent food addition to the party without needing to fit into any one theme. Be sure to have plenty of soda and bottled water on hand. Here's a picture of an NCIS cake, and then a link. This is so pure and so good, and the first time that somebody's ever asked anything on Yahoo Answers where a good, helpful, kind Christian person swoops in with a fucking manual on how to perfectly do the thing. I wanted to include this because hope's not all lost, most things are bad, 90% of the things are bad, but then there's Yahoo Answers user Lady Die who swoops in here is like, you know what's good at parties? Sloppy Joe's sometimes. How about a fingerprint cookie? I like the, the inclusion of the line, uh, make sure to have soda and water available. That's not NCIS specific. It's, it's just, just a, a good, good overall good party yeah. thing. I've never seen NCIS, a single frame of it. But this, what I love about this, and the reason I was troubled doing it, is I was worried that Lady Di had confused NCIS with CSI. No, I think they also do plenty of CSIing. Okay, because this would also... This, then this is not a qualm I have with Lady Di. This is a qualm I have with the creators of NCIS. You made your letters sound like a pre-existing thing, CSI. You used three of the same. You just added an N in there and then kind of flipped them all around. Right, which also could be New Orleans CSI, I think, is in there. Or is it NCIS New Orleans? Who even fucking knows anymore? I mean, I know, because NCIS New Orleans has my boy, Scott Bakula. I'm just talking about the title, Griffin. Okay. I just wanted I'm to just talk saying, about Scott Bakula. If you're going to use three of the sim same letters in your thing... Maybe uh, don't have so much, like, microscopes and fingerprints and stuff. This is GSI. Grime scene investigation. <laughs> they investigate so dirty here. The grimiest scenes. Do uh, we want to move on to the money zone? or I want to move on that? to the money zone so that we can get to our guest segment even faster. So let's do it. Let's do it. 